where to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand. Bangkok has a hustling night of some of the best market shopping and is a backyard on a spot. Plus, its historical sites and fabric and culture make it a well-rounded and fascinating place to visit. The city has some of the most varied, spiciest and tastiest food I have ever tried. Here is my ultimate Bangkok travel guide to help me plan the Thailand experience. How to book a hotel in Thailand that I'm showing you now. What to expect in Bangkok? Language. Thai is the local language, although all young people are taught basic English at this school and many signs who are written in English. Currency. Thai but is the local currency. Credit cards and banks. ATMs are common. Why? Most places accept credit cards. It is wise to use cash while to possible as card fraud can be a big problem. Let's talk about climate. Bank is hot, humid throughout the year, with average highs above 90 degrees Fahrenheit and lows around 70 degrees throughout the year. April is the hottest month. September is the wettest and December is the coldest. The peak season. The rain is the most common between May and October, meaning most winters can between November and April. Culture. It is considered good to eat directly off a pork is customary to use a or to push food onto a spoon and eat from that. Also, be sure to cover up your eyebrows and knees when visiting temples out of respect. Water. Don't drink the tap water. Stick to bottle, please. Now, I am telling you where to visit in Thailand and how to book hotel in Thailand. Getting around in Bangkok. Getting around Bangkok is easy using the BTS Squiten and elevated train system throughout the city. Keep the rules in mind when planning your itinerary for back. Sukumbi. Home to the upmarket business center of the city and many of the most popular nightlife venues. You will also find the best places to shop here within Slam Square, Riverside. You will find most of the most luxury hotels scattered along the river, offering stunning views and a good place to explore in most of the tourist attractions. Khao Sound Road. This is the back place center in the Bangkok. This is a Mac Pepper Central in Bangkok and is home to some popular cheap hotels, the bars, along with historic bars remain for one of the oldest running fortifications in the city. Unfortunately, the sky train isn't super accessible from this area, so keep that in mind.
Dakna Kosing, the old town. This is where many of the historic sites of the city are located, including the Grand Place and amazing Buddha statue at Wapo. Siam. Day to that day, this part of the city is a busy financial district, but at night, it transforms with vibrant and illicit nightlife. You can find very street food here, but you also might encounter some products. Do sit. The part of the city is where King Rama he built his sprawling music place complex. The district is home to most of the political and administrative buildings of the government and the white danger museums and temples. Why to stay in Bangkok? Bangkok has a wide range of accommodations to satisfy any budget. If you are looking for a budget stay, check out hotels, hostels and rentals around Khao San and Bang Lampo, where public transportation is as connected in this part of the city. You will find more budget to mid-range options and lots of things to do. If you are looking for a mid-range to luxurious stay, I prefer the neighborhoods of Silom, Sukhumvi or along the river in Bangkok. Here are some of the top hotels in Bangkok and my favorite places to stay. Banyan Chi Bangkok, a luxury hotel at the heart of the city. The Banyan Chi has wonderful views from the rooftop restaurant, nature rooms, and a magic hill center, and an outdoor swimming pool with its own great city views. Sort of offers more amenities, restaurants, and services, and we believe seated on the Chaung Pra River and just a short trip will come from downtown. The Shangri-La Hotel offers a grand and luxury system. On board shoes. It's high rated for a season. Where to eat in Bangkok?
and the Thai night lantern into there Bangkok has been voted for the best in the world when it comes to street food so you have to try some authentic dishes while you are visiting the best place to grab street food is from the local markets high rated street food stalls or join a market food group if you journey asian flavors hearty and some spice bangkok will have been to you if you see fast and in bank thailand i recommend trying some of the classic dishes like som kiam khao swai pad thai la masam and curry or penang curry i have outlined some of the best restaurants and street food stalls to eat from in bangkok street food stalls the fast food With countless food stalls and markets throughout the city, you can come to my home without trying a few of the local flavors. Street food is a huge part of the local culture and something not to be missed. I'd be lying if I said I was a bit intimidated by the offerings of street vendors upon arriving in Thailand. This street food. guide will provide fast time travelers with some insight into thai street and culture some of the top street food stalls in bangkok are here ram chal phai female owned and the only street food vendor in today in the mikelin star guide to bangkok this place is always busy but worth the wait Ni Hom Ring Kong Then to come outside of lunch hours otherwise you will be waiting in line for a while So come with Swai Thai food offering super food Thai food at the greatest prices This by the way of the city where many local foods and filters together by the people for eating the town Lampo Chi Thai Street Lampo Chi is an hiking trail right along the Quai Canal serving delicious Thai food for its many halal atmosphere we are packed for breakfast lunch and dinner Lampo Chi Thai Street is my favorite one Thai and Asian Pal, the house of Satron. Pali serves modern Thai seafood is one of the Bangkok's iconic landmarks. The house of Satron, which is a natural heritage building built in 1889, Pali's amazing reviews speak for themselves. Shirokko at Libua. While international and Mediterranean cuisine here is the speciality tasty. It is a little on the pricier side, especially by Thai standards, but the amazing views is on the 63 third floor. But make this perfect place to enjoy a cocktail or two. Mango tree Mango tree offers great Thai food and a full menu of wine, beers, and cocktails just steps from the bustling business district on Silom Road. Plus, the restaurant is surrounded by a great garden of ancient mango trees, making for a special atmosphere. Nangin Gin Kui Bangkok Private Dining. known by as the 
best dining experiences in Bangkok. It's a small and cozy restaurant. It's in a city apartment offering some great view reviews. It really feels like you are a guest at a friend's house or for dinner. It's the perfect place to place have a excellent Thai food and meet other travelers. Now I'm telling you how to budget your money in Thailand and Thailand nightlife today. Bangkok is lively, eccentric and traditional all in one. It is such a unique experience. There are a handful of captivate neighborhoods and hot spots to explore. Dishes to be eaten, stalls to shop and historic establishments to see. Plus, you will find luxurious shore spas, hotels and yard. If you are into that kind of thing, here are the top things to do when traveling in Bangkok. Chak Chak Weekend Market With over 15,000 stalls with Chak Chak Weekend Market offers everything from clothing and counterfeit football, shirts to fresh food and souvenirs. It's a great introduction to Thai shopping. Riverport Tour there is no better way to get a full tour of the neighborhoods in Bangkok than by taking one of the various sightseeing riverboat tours. <coughs> Ancient Siam Established in 1972, the Ancient Siam of the Siam city is large outdoor museum park shaped to reflect the map of Thailand and has beautiful representations of the country's oldest and most sacred buildings. Visit the Thompson House. The home of the greatest American entrepreneur in Thailand from the 1950s-60s, the house of the silk magnate Jim. Thompson is now a museum and is surrounded by beautiful nature gardens. Explore Bangkok's parks. The tropical surroundings Bangkok are ideal for parks and gardens. The Lumini Park in Sion are the largest in the city. Those around Parasuman will also offer a nice escape from the Beach atmosphere of the city. Muay Thai. The Thai national sports is more than just kickboxing. It is an amazing plan of martial arts and fighting techniques. Muay Thai matches are regularly held in stadiums around the city. There are also classes offered for those looking to learn the basics. Grand Place and what Paul. After heart of the Bangkok's historic attractions, these spectacular buildings show the wealth and privilege and jet old Thai kings. It also shows off some of the best agriculture and on a decoration in the country. Take a foot tour. If you let stomach dictate your travels, there is no better way to explore Bangkok than with the guided foot tour. I can recommend Bangkok nighttime temples, markets, and food tour enough some of Thailand's most iconic dishes 
and explored the city's vibrant night markets. And with us, I could be us. When most visitors get to just taste the excellent night food, they visit to see Amut Hafas and Inza and to help to make Thai tasty Thai dishes. She also has a lovely half garden where fresh ingredients are picked for the dishes. Visit the weekend night vintage chain market. This is the best place to find vintage and pre-loved clothing and items in Bangkok. The Road 5 market has everything from antiques to vintage car parts and a great selection of street food stalls. People watch in Suai Kabul. Some home of the seediest bars in the city. This red light district is near Sukumbit Street and has a range of bars and cafes. It's a great place to see the nightlife of the city go by. Visiting visiting the Chatura Weekend Market in Bangkok. fight insects have a local artist and paint everything you want take home a giant goldfish score some new leather kicks I would honestly have an easier time listing things you couldn't find here there are even companies to arrange international shopping for big spenders I had some self-control and left with my Denity, some tinctures, and enough Thai bath to get me through the rest of my stay in Thailand. I highly recommend trying the food mango sticky rice in a particular fave. While it's a bit of maize, enjoy the experience, and you're sure to stumble upon some seriously good surprise. 
with 35 records of retail heaven ahead, I knew I could easily spend a day or three at the market. For the first timers like me, navigating the job market some impossible, luckily the supermarket of actions based on category. So you are looking for something in particular you can find with the existing locating on the map. My advice if you are going first time is to get lost. You will be enhanced by the colors and smells surrounding you and your senses will be on their own adventures. Now I'm telling you why to visit in Thailand and how to book hotel in Thailand and how to budget your money in Thailand. As someone based on my frugal parents, I have always then been pretty good at finding a good idea and knowing a fair price. When I see one, I turned on Haggy Mood and spent about three hours weaving and bobbing through the cramped axles of goodies like an experienced gypsy. At one point, I almost caught a case of overstimulation but luckily found the strength to get on. Don't hand immediately head to a chat to chat if it's your first time in Bangalore, Thailand. It's best to do something exploring and price shopping around the city to see what the going rate for a certain course and what the fair price is. Be wary of overpriced goodies in Bangkok, but also realize that if you are a visitor to this country, respect the culture, recognize that people are trying to make a living and go get your shop on. Take the Skytrain BTS to Mochi Station. Take exit number one and follow the crowd until you see rows of shade pendles. Keep walking, and entrance will be on the right. The hours is Saturday, Sunday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Chatuchak Market is amazing. Our first time, we did exactly what you said. Get lost. We just wandered around. The final, we came up on a foot. Nice place, it was perfect. Walk around for sh hour shopping and eating, and then get a foot massage so you can go for another few hours. I'm someone California native who left my career in corporate finance to become a world traveler since I've been making it these things. So I'm telling you when to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand, how to budget your money in Thailand, and give you tips to spend your money in Thailand, the Thailand budget trip, Thailand budget trip 2003, and Thailand life of today. There were station destinations, Thailand types of trip, lifestyle, photography, travel shows. The in Thailand, I'm explaining everything to you. Now I'm telling you another things about their cultures and cities and their hobbies, their tastes. Especially I like to spend the Kausan Road. Or if you want to spend money, you can spend in Sukhumvit, Suai Three, Suai Chao.
anything you could possibly think is so cold on market so if you want to bring some little something or something definite plan coming i grab some of the move things in thailand that is just check market